Hey there guys, Leon Mookie the Ear, and I'm back with another part of What If Ezekiel Was the Son of Delson Rowe. This is part three. In the last part, Izuku basically took part of the entrance exam at UA and gave it everything he's got while also gaining a new quirk being electrification from Kaminari. And he also decided to be his new favorite quirk with soon him also turning his new electrification quirk into Black Lightning. Not only that, he was also able to make it into UA and getting the first place spot. So, with that said, let's get into this. A couple days later, Izuku and Bakugo were called into the teacher's office where their teacher wanted to congratulate them on making it into UA. And his teacher also said, I knew for sure that you would make it into UA, of course, Ro, but you, but Bakugo, I'm especially proud of you as well for, for basically confirming what you would do. I look, I expect great things from the two of you. As he's saying, ah, thanks, sir. I appreciate that compliment a lot. With Bakugo not saying anything, but soon the both of them leaving the teacher's faculty office as he's as he, Bakugo wanted to stop Izuku, but Izuku moved out of the way at perfect timing, saying, "All right, Kachan, what you want to do? You want to end this with a final duel? You want to basically commit have a ultimate challenge?" Or do you just want to bitch and complain like normal? So what's it gonna be? Saying, why you? Saying, you know what? I'm done. Saying, wait, what? You're done of what? I'm done trying to compete against you. You got first place. Even though I worked my ass off for the past 10 months to get, to get first place. I worked my butt off trying my best. And yet, you got first in the entrance exam, and I didn't. And it's that, and I guess it's that reason that damn ass quirk of yours. Saying, well, the quirk was one aspect of it, but I also had my dad's training. I also worked at it too. I just, and not because, and not only that, it's not because I wanted it more. It's because I made up for my shortcomings. Saying. What the hell are you talking about? Dude, you do know my quirk is weaker than my dad's. I can't absorb trans transformation quirks like he can. Uh, not only that, I can't turn my body into the, into the material of the other quirks he also has as well. Now also, I can't, I can't purely absorb them and basically take gunfire like it's nothing like he can. I'm weaker than my dad. So I had to make up for that with hard work and training. Not only that, I also have to thank you, Kachan. You, you were the one who gave me my first quirk, where I didn't even gain my dad's quirks. You were the one person that I had to thank the most, but yet you destroyed our friendship when you began getting jealous on how I began using it, how I began improving. So, again, that's the reason why I got first place. Because I made up for losing my, sh for my shortcomings. So next time that you want a bitch, try and remember that you're the one that encouraged me alongside my dad to also to keep working at it when we were kids. After this, Izuku just walked off, pissed off, with Bakugo just standing there. As he begins thinking, I really screwed up. I gotta make things right. And the worst part is I never thought I had to because I didn't think this was my fault. With soon, the next couple of days, Izuku has at least two months before the beginning of him starting UA. As he just wanted to probably get a little bit of training in of his new electrification quirk, being his new favorite quirk out there but wanted to relax a little bit since he has nothing to worry about anymore so with that Hizuku decide on the weekend on Sunday he begins heading to the mall 
wanting to hang out a little bit, have a little bit of fun, just relax, until a crowd of people noticed Izuku, as they noticed that he is the son of Falcon, after all, and is saying, ah, shit, not again, with soon a crowd of girls and a couple of boys alongside Alongside of people, alongside of off-duty reporters, began chasing after Izuku, with a lot of with a lot of other people being also mall security getting involved as well. With soon, a couple of people noticed this, saying, "What's going on?" With a couple of other people saying, "The son of the number three hero is here. He's basically he's ba everyone's trying to get an autograph and a picture with him." Just saying, "Wait, really?" With soon a couple other people began running off too, which nearing the, which nearing a fountain, which left a girl with glasses and white hair, but with a dash of crimson marks in in her hair as well, saying, ah, "I can't believe they just left me here by myself, even though this was their idea to ta to make me tag along, even though I should be studying." For my, for my exam, as soon she, he's saying, "Hey, it's the close clear." With her being freaking out, saying, "What the? Ah, hey, don't scare people like that." And close clear for what? As she soon looks, being a green, a dark green-haired boy wearing that of a wearing that of a toboggan on his head, is saying, "If the people, if any people are not here, I'm seriously afraid of getting." Of being out here now, saying, "Afraid? Why would you?" As she began realizing, "Wait, you're the boy from a month from a month ago, and not, wait, you're the son of Falcon." Saying, "Hey, can you keep it down? I'm not trying to have a mob here." Saying, "Wait, you're that you're that young girl from a couple months ago too. I thought your last name seemed strange. So you really are the son of the number three hero." What is uh, saying? Okay, can you stop saying that? Please, I'm begging you. I'll get me out of here and I'll do whatever you ask for. I promise. Ash uh, saying, really? You're you're saying that easily? This stuff happens to me constantly. I always having to bribe. I have to bribe some people from time to time. This is gonna be one of those times. I know. Saying you don't have to do that. I'll help you out for free. With soon a couple of, she's soon saying, just hide. As Izuki goes back into the small bushes, and saying, "Hey, did you see a green-haired boy with its bargain?" Saying, "Nope." I, I, but I think he did go. I think he went behind me and probably went back there. As she soon points with a couple other people rushing out, rushing to where she pointed at. Where soon, Izuki saying, "Oh, thank God." He saved me, saying, don't mention it. With soon, Izuki getting out of the bushes, saying, they're not going to stay for long, so I better get out of here quick. There goes my day off trying to relax. As saying, I don't think you're going to be too bad. As soon, she grabs Izuki's hand, saying, I know a good place where we can, where we can go where nobody would notice you for a bit, at least for a bit or so. As soon... He's, she runs off to a small, to out of the mall, out of the open mall area, and then they head to a busy street, where they see a small internet cafe. As they enter, with saying, "Huh, I've never been here before. It's a place where I come to study and where I need to get out of the house from time to time." As saying, huh, "I feel you there." As soon they take. They basically take a seat nearing the concession bar, saying, I can't thank you enough. Really, never expect a cute, a hot young woman like you to actually help me out. As saying, can you st don't say that? I'm really conscious when people say sweet stuff like that a little bit, saying, oh, sorry. Eh, but it is true. You are pretty good looking. So tell, tell me, what's your name? As she tells him, her name is Fuyumi Todoroki, saying Todoroki. That name sounds <laughs> that's coincidence. Tell me, is you do I have you any relation to Endeavor by any chance? Saying yeah, he's my dad. As soon 
something shattered within Izuku's mind as he's saying, you're the daughter of the number two hero? Which soon everyone noticed this as she's saying, shh, please calm down. As saying, you have nothing to worry about. It's a joke with soon everybody minding their business again. Saying, oh, sorry about that. And I just flipped. Huh, never expect to run into the daughter of the number two hero. It, at least again. I saying, well, I never expect to run into the son of the number three hero. I guess that calls us both even. It's saying, eh, fair enough. As soon as you can sing, look, I really appreciate your help, uh, Miss Fuyumi. As saying, but don't, you don't need to call me Miss. Just call me Fuyumi or by my family name, Todoroki. Saying, okay then. Well, Todoroki, I appreciate the help. I'm going to head back home. I might get a coffee here before I leave, though. As saying, let me pay for it. It'd be my pleasure. As she soon bought Izuku and herself a couple of coffees on her. As he's saying, thanks. Even though this is kind of my fault. Saying, enough of that. With soon, she's saying, so you come here from time to time? But for what? Saying, to study, I'm currently a teacher's assistant. I'm working to get my teaching, to get my official teaching license to become a full-fledged teacher. Saying, really? That's actually awesome. With her saying, oh, it's nothing major or nothing impressive. Especially, is saying, but again, thinking, but you're the, but you're the daughter of Endeavor. Wouldn't it be awesome for you to become a hero? But if that's not what you want, saying, well, I never thought of it. Mostly because I, my dad probably wouldn't want to. It's saying, really? Why is that? Is she soon, well, her hands begin shaking as Izuku noticing, oh, 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 I get it. Look, you don't have to tell me if you don't feel like it or if it's too painful or something like that. I mean, I heard some pretty shady rumors about Endeavor as he whispered this to himself. Look, as saying, why do you want to be a hero, though? And since you did say that you plan on going to UA, right? Saying, oh, right. Oh, you knew about that. Well, I plan on... Uh, well, because of my dad. He inspired me to become a hero, but not just my dad. Heroes in general. They're always awesome. Giving their lives to help the innocent, protect the weak. It's shit like that that is just awesome as hell. I can't... And... I wanted to join that lineup. I wanted to try and make the world better, just like my dad always does all, all his time. And sure, he may be the number three hero, but he's keeping Endeavor on his toes, making sure that he doesn't lose that spot of number two so easily. So you gotta say that Endeavor has been helping out a little bit easier, more than normal, as she's saying, yeah. As soon Izuku noticed the look on her face, saying, Oh, oh, I'm guessing even that, even with my dad trying to gain number two, and your, and your dad trying to gain, st stay number two, things are still not easy with you. Say, wait, how can you, I'm pretty good at reading the room. It's something I've learned from my dad, which sometimes even I can't read the room sometimes. I do have limits, though, as saying, huh, let's just say growing up as the daughter of number two hero is problematic, especially for many of my other siblings, especially my youngest brother, with Zeke saying, youngest brother, his name is Shoto, Shoto Todoroki. He actually applied for UA too, but he took the recommendation exam, saying, huh, well, that actually makes sense, actually. Of course, the son of the number two hero would probably take the recommendation exam. I asked my dad if I could take the recommendation exam, but he said no. Said he didn't want to give me a handout or anything like that and wanted me to work at it. And I actually respect that. It's because of him I've actually gained a lot more stronger. And I'm working my butt off to try and become a hero just like him. As saying, you know... I can't, I think my brother would be envious of your relationship. Saying, why is that? 
with saying, let's just say our father is putting all of his expectations, his dreams and hopes on his shoulders. And it's not been easy for him, especially on other things as well with and instances too with easy saying i get it i understand look like i said you don't have to be completely true for understanding just let you know if you need to talk it's good to open up to some people from time to time just letting you know at any rate as he soon gets out of the chair and saying thanks for the coffee and thanks for saving me again Hope to see you. Hope to see you around. As she's saying, "Hey, uh, do you want my number?" Saying, "Wait, really? Yeah, just to talk. If you feel like it." Saying, "Sure, I don't mind. I don't mind at all." As he soon gives her his phone number and hers as well to him. With soon saying, "Thanks. Hope to see you around, Todoroki." Saying, "You too." row as they soon go off with the months have now passed and izuku is now ready for his first day at ua as he has his ua uniform on but it's not as kemp as it normally would be as the tie is just hanging around his neck and his and his uniform isn't completely buttoned up as he's Soon, Delson just saying, looking good, Izuku, with Inka saying, stop, stop that. It looks like this that makes him look like a, de like a delinquent, even though he's a good kid, saying, hey, it's my style. And I had to thank dad for that. It's saying, and I'm not happy for it, though, with soon Delson just laughing, with saying, look, Izuku, it is your first year in high school, especially a hero high school, as prestigious as UA. As saying, I know, Dad, you didn't get a chance to go to a hero school due to you being a forced late bloomer and all that. So I'm going to live, live your life for you. I'm going to help you out and do my best to, to experience what you couldn't. Saying, ow, the way you say it, you kind of make it seem like I didn't have the best experience growing up. I mean, sh okay, stop trying to stop being a smart ass with two laughing at each other with saying good luck son I will love you dad saying love you too with saying love you too mom as he goes out of the door with had taking the train and is and is rushing as fast as he can to UA as he continues running and running he soon heads to the massive school as he tr as he enters he, tr he tries to find the best place to see where Class 1A is. As the place almost kind of feels like a maze. It, seeing how big it is. With soon making it and finding you Class 1A. As he sees the massive door saying, This is literally freaking ridiculous. What the hell? As he soon just, just takes a deep breath. Open his eyes and has a look of determination saying, I got this. I got this. But soon oh, slaying the door open. And what does he see? Basically Bakugo and the boy from the entrance exam with the glasses arguing. As Ida begins saying, take your feet off that desk immediately. That, that you are now, you're dismerching school property and also the seat that our predecessors once sat in as saying seriously do, do you talk are you like this to everybody or do you just have a stick up your ass with Ida getting annoyed and just saying Ugh, I guess we got on the wrong foot here my name is Tanya Ida from the Somay private school academy and I wish as Baka saying Somay huh so you think you're better than me I guess I might have to rip you a new one with Ida being surprised saying you would threaten me your classmate? Are you sure you're in the right class? With Izuku saying, Ugh, I guess, my, I guess I really can escape you, can I, Kachan? With Soon saying, Ugh, Deku, you're, yeah, I'm in this class too. Don't be so, be, be too surprised. With Soon, Ida coming up to Izuku saying, Oh, yeah, you're the dude from the entrance exam. 
Look, if you're going to complain, bother me, let's just say, saying, I wish to apologize, as saying, wait, what? I didn't think that you took this seriously. However, I could see that you were. Not only that, you must have known about rescue points as well during the entrance exam, showing that you had better foresight, saying, oh no, I didn't know shit about rescue points. Saying, wait, you didn't? No, I just went to save that brunette girl just because I wanted to and because it was the right thing to do. I mean, come on, you can't be a hero if you can't save a life. And this, Edith's saying, oh, you are completely right. I'll take those word, take your words with advice. Saying, dude, you don't have to take them too damn seriously. It's just freaking common knowledge. What the actual hell is wrong with you? As soon, she's saying, hey, I know that, I know that messy green hair from anybody. And saying, you're the girl, you're the guy with the lightning quirk. Saying, wait, lightning quirk? As Kaminari soon getting more and more curious about that. Saying, oh yeah, and you're a big butt girl. Saying, wait, what? Why did you? Oh shit, did I just say it out loud? As Izuku gets a little bit embarrassed, while also bears embarrassing Ochako as well. Saying, look, I am really sorry about that. That just slipped out. I just normally say what's on my mind, complete, without thinking, as saying, it's okay, just caught me off guard, as saying, well, I'm glad to see you're in this class too, it's good to have you, as saying, yeah, as she began feeling really excited about the day, and what could happen, and who's going to be their homeroom teacher, was soon... They hear a voice behind Uraka saying, "If you're only here to make friends, then you don't. Then you should just leave now." As they soon look outside, as Bakugo even got more curious too, and looks say, saying, "Who the hell or what the hell is that?" As soon the man basically comes out of the sleeping bag, and saying, and then just walks past them to the podium saying. Hello, I'm your homeroom teacher, Shota Aizawa. As he soon take, gets something out of his sleeping bag and show in front of everybody in class saying, put these on and meet me outside of the training in the practice field in the next 30 minutes. I won't take anybody being late. At this, everybody began getting a little bit curious and wondering what's going to happen. With soon... Everybody makes it to the practice field with Izuku looking around saying, huh, so these are going to be all my classmates. Some of these guys look pretty cool and weird, but some of the ladies look pretty good. Not going to lie. As he soon just shakes his head saying, nope, me get my hand on them. I wonder what's going to happen. As he soon noticed a boy with blue, with white hair and red hair on, on the sides saying, Huh, he almost reminds me of Fuyumi. Huh, wait, is he? Is he Fuyumi's little older little brother? Huh, she did say he He must be Todoroki. Wonder if I should say hi to him. Wouldn't be too bad. I mean, the son of the number two hero and the number three hero being friends. That'd actually be, that'd actually make things a lot more interesting in a way. And who knows about the gossip. And shit like that. As he begins thinking this over and over again, with soon Uraka basically comes up saying, Um, Mr. Aizawa, aren't we going to miss the entrance ceremony? As soon basically voicing her her concern just like everyone else in class, as she as Aizawa was saying, if you're training to become heroes, you don't have time to be wasting your time with that. You here in UA I can run my class any way I want and how I want it. So, I want to engage all your skills and abilities. As soon, he brings out a ball behind him and tosses it to Izuku. Ro, here, as soon Izuku t catches it, saying, What do you want me to do with this? Throw it as far as you can, but, but use your quirk. Saying, You want me to use my quirk? To throw this ball that's it nothing else saying why would i'm not joking just throw this ball but use your quirk and use 100 percent of of it as well saying oh all right 
as he soon was about to stretch and was about to throw the ball before he stopped midway, saying, you said you want me to use 100% of my quirk, right? As Aizawa gets a little bit annoyed with everyone else kind of more getting a little bit annoyed at Izuku as well, with Aizawa saying, yet yeah, did I stutter, Ro? What made you stop? I was wondering if it's okay to bring out a support item that would help me out a lot more if you want to see 100% of what my court can do. As soon as I saw it begins thinking this over, saying, all right, fine, you can bring it. With Izuku basically going, yes, with then running off back to the, uh, back to the, well, classroom as he gets his Sistema sticks and basically run as fast as he can using Gale. With that, soon everybody noticed Izuku as he got back in at least a matter of two minutes or so, which was pretty fast on their part, and on his part actually. As soon Izuku puts his Sistema sticks together, creating his staff formation, as then he soon generates all the wind he can within the staff. As he brings, as he soon tosses the ball in the air, the wind, a, a small wind, a small hurricane began putting the ball in place. As then, with a sun swing, the ball was sent flying as the wind repelled it even farther than it did before. With soon, uh, Aizawa looking at looking at how far it went, showing Izuku how far, with Izuku feeling satisfactory, and then turning it to the class, as it was at least 752 meters in the air. As everyone was shocked and see to see this, as some began getting a little bit excited and everything, with Izuku saying, there's no, Okay, Teach, what's the real reason that you wanted us to show off our quirks besides besides that? There's something else with Aizawa saying, Huh, it's what I expect from a row after all, being the son of the number three hero. With hearing this, everyone was shocked, except Bakugo, uh, Ochako, as one of them being a boy with with, spi with spiky red hair saying, wait, the son of the number three hero? Are, wait, are you, are you Falcon's son? Saying, yeah, my last name is Ro, and there's only one Ro here in Japan. So, as soon, Saro saying, dude, the son of the number three hero in this class? That is crazy. As everybody began noticing this, even Shoto was I saying, the son of the number three hero, Delson Rowe, aka Falcon, is in this class as he looks intensely at Izuku as somewhat as for some reason he couldn't help but despise Izuku with Aizawa saying, Rowe is right. I don't just want to engage your skills with your quirks and see what you're capable of. I also want to see what potential you all have. And not only that, if you don't have any potential and if you're don't and if you don't give it your all during this test, I will expel you right here right now from the hero course. After hearing this, everybody was shocked and surprised with some freaking out. With soon Ochako saying, "But that's not fair. You can't expel us from the hero course like that. We all work so hard to get in here." With soon Aizawa saying, "Oh, fair. Tell me, Oraka, is the world really fair? Is power-hungry villains fair? Is natural disasters fair?" With her saying, "Well, actually, is saying your job as heroes is to combat that unfairness. You can't." You have to go beyond plus ultra. And if you can't pass this test, then you have no potential. The l person that has the lowest score out of everyone will be expelled. Is that understood? With Izuku basically going back in line and saying, of course, the world isn't fair. His dad always told me. As soon he has a look of determination on his face and that's it 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Also, like and subscribe, which really helps out the channel a lot, and I would appreciate it. Uh, and also check out my Discord and gaming channel, which the links will be in the description below too. With all that said, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later, guys.